In this video, we're going to look at the concept of a weighted average and see how we can use it to solve average problems like this one. So this problem says, at a health club, 80% of the members are men and 20% of the members are women. If the average age of the men is 30 and the average age of the women is 40, what is the average age of all the members? Now the instinct of some people when they first see this is to just average 30 and 40, average the average ages, which would give you 35. But the problem with that is that it doesn't take into account the fact that there are a lot more men than there are women. 35 would be the right answer if the number of men and women are the same, but intuitively you should see that because a lot more of the, of the members are men, the, the overall average should probably be closer to the average age of the men than the women. Okay, So we can use the concept of a weighted average in cases like this. And what that says is that the overall average is going to be, in this case, 80% of the men's average age and 20% of the women's average age. Okay, so the overall average is weighted by the percentages of the subgroups that make it up. So 80% of 30 is 24, and 20% of 40 is 8, giving us an overall average of 32. Okay, so let's look a little deeper as to why that makes sense. If we look at the portion of the number line between 30 and 40. When you first read the problem, even without looking at the answer choices, you should be able to see that the overall average must be somewhere between 30 and 40. It wouldn't make sense for it to be bigger than 40 or less than 30. And we've already talked about why it wouldn't be right in the middle, right? Because each group is not weighted equally. And because 80% of the members are men, it must be that the overall average is somewhere in this region. Somewhere close to the men's average, but a little bit more toward the women's average. So if we think about, if we had just started with a group of men who have an average age of 30, then obviously the entire average for that group would be exactly 30. When we add the women, though, it'll have the effect of pulling that overall average toward the women's average. But it's not going to pull it that far because only 20% of the group are women. So specifically, it's going to pull it 20% of the way toward the women's average because 20% of the group are women. So the distance from 30 to 40 is 10, and so if the women are pulling the average 20% toward their average, that's 20% of 10 is 2, so it's going to pull it 2 in this direction to an average of 32, like we got before. Or we could look at it from the women's perspective. If you start with just the women, a group of 40-year-old women, and then you add enough 30-year-old men so that they make up 80% of the group, then that's going to pull it 80% away from the women's average. And 80% of 10 is 8, so it'll pull it 8 away from 40 down to 32. Okay, so when you get a problem like this, you can think of it that way. Just think about what would it be with just one part of the subgroup, and then how far is the addition of the other subgroup going to pull it in that direction? And make sure the answer makes sense afterwards. Make sure that, in, you know, like in this case, 32 makes sense because it's closer to the men's average, which it should be because there's more men than women.